what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we got a new screen 5 feature right here today that shared some more details about what we should expect plot wise regarding the upcoming film that i, I still can't believe this it's like less than less than uh 70 days away now at, at this point i think it's amazing how far we've come but in this new feature right we basically now have learned more details as it relates to sam carpenter's return to woodsboro sydney prescott and how her life is going more proof that it seems that she does indeed have a have a child or at least children in some way uh we we already know she's married in some way since we saw the ring on her finger in the trailer and we also learned that gail weathers is indeed back on her bs there's and there's just like quick footage of her in her suit talking to sam carpenter we do get to see quick shots of the other kids in woodsboro um mindy mindy martin chad meeks martin it's all everything about this feature was just perfect to me so just to talk about melissa barrera's character sam really quick so it looks like sam carpenter when she returns to woodsboro she'll be going to dewey riley for help to start off with not to necessarily start off with from the jump but i it would seem it, it would it would appear that after tara gets attacked and survives the opening attack again all, that's what we're assuming then she returns to her hometown goes to visit tara and then based off of the details of the featurette she then goes to dewey after she gets her own call from ghostface with ghostface revealing that he knows her little secret there because they talk about this in the featurette sam carpenter has a secret ghostface knows about it so that must be the, another clue that for ghostface to be able to a get into the carpenter house you know sam's secret it's someone that is already very close to them that is well within their life that has tabs on them pretty much to have this much detail and access to them i feel like it has to be someone right either in tara's life directly or sam's life directly so she seems like she'll be going to dewey right after she gets that call from ghostface to ask for his help since he was the last town's former sheriff and we do see him opening up a glove box of his sheriff badge and has his gun more of a confirmation that he has stepped away from the force he's kind of just living this loner life doesn't appear to be married anymore of course him and gail seem to be divorced since we again i we see her in the future back on her bs the other thing that it seems to happen here is that dewey is reluctant to agree to just jump into this again but this is where he of course learns about the new woodsboro killing sprees a little bit more i would assume just from her arriving introducing herself they talk i guess and then he seems like he's going to call sydney prescott sydney prescott we see her pushing a stroller so it looks like sydney does actually have kids now it looks like she does have a baby so i'm very happy to hear that she deserves this she deserves all the peace in the world after everything she's been through and then we jump to footage of like gail weathers at one point going underneath a red uh a red line that they you know the, the yellow tape that they put about a uh crime scene i can't think of the name of it but then they go towards mindy and live and chad sitting at i'm gonna assume this is gonna be like an homage to that fountain scene from the original film where we see them looking off kind of suspecting kyle galner's character of vince he just kind of creepily waves at them and you know i i'm assuming that he's going to be one of the biggest red herrings in this film so I, I, already off the bat he's not even on anyone's list who is trying to be a detective going into this film he's not going to be on my list at all he is not the other thing i wanted to expand on really quick here was the whole narrative that was presented in the first trailer now we see that in this featurette sam has a secret in the trailer she has the comment of all the killings so far have been on have been attacked or all the attacks so far have been re relatives of the original killers this would of course put in this put in the, put in your mind that the pattern this time is going after relatives of the original killers however not all of these people who are about to be attacked in this film are relatives of the original killers what they are though based off their last names for a lot of them they're relatives of the original victims so i feel like that's another misdirect from the trailer that's now being kind of recovered here or saved in a way or kind of step on in many ways if you're someone like me who's listening and dissecting and trying to see the parts that don't make sense and then forcing them to make sense so like if she told us that the 
that the attacks so far have been victims or have been relatives of the original killers that leads you to think that that's the pattern that's being followed but all of these people don't have last names of loomis and mocker they have last names of other victims so i would imagine what's going to happen is as they're noticing this pattern of people being killed being connected to the original killings they're going to update the pattern theory to say that ghostface is targeting relatives of the original victims not relatives of the original killers that's just what i see happening also this again is just putting in more proof that perhaps sam's big secret since she has a secret is she is the relative of billy loomis or Stu mocker because the only other person who based off of their age description would be a relative of Stu mocker if there is a relative of Stu mocker in this in this movie would be richie's character or vince played by cal gowner cal gowner who many people believe to be related to billy he's probably going to be the one that's related to Stu. meanwhile sam is related to billy that's just what i see happening that's just how i see them again going the opposite way of what you think they're going to do there's a lot of stuff that they're giving you that'll let you know hey this is what we're doing but then you won't have it all figured out me me neither until we sit down and watch the movie digest it come together to talk about how we think it translated on screen etc this feature it i liked it it had a lot of cool new images that i kind of screen capped and i've been, again been sharing them throughout this video and i just liked how it expanded on sam carpenter how she'll come back to woodsboro who she turns to for help initially being dewey riley there were some cool shots of ghostface actually on on the attack at the hospital looks like again where's the hospital staff i just have to ask that where's the hospital staff because if that if a lot of this stuff is happening in the hospital i just have to wonder where where is your staff i have also seen some people complaining about the aesthetic of this film compared to the other entries and while i will say i can agree to some to some degree i'll agree to some degree this movie looks way better visually without that glossy filter that screen four had but i understand where you're coming from but i can't wait to see what happens and how this movie unfolds on screen can't wait to see the other little featurettes to come out and can't wait to see what other little tidbits that come out as well but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you already, of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification in this video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video